Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Hey beautiful people, it is your girl Ashimim Gongle. If you are new to this channel, thank you for joining me and kindly subscribe to become part of this family. I am sure you are going to love your stay and if you are returning, I see you and welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. It really means a lot to me. I have a story time today. Hope you guys are excited. A few days ago, I woke up so grateful and I just thought of how far I've come and be at this age, a young age, and be able to rent a place for myself and stay alone and be a working class, you know? Um, and I thought of the things that I went through as a student, staying with different people, different backgrounds, and I was like, what? I've come a long way. So today I'm gonna be sharing um, a story about my roommate. I've been staying with people guys, so I have, to have a lot of stories about roommates and everything. So I will tell you about this one in... So let us talk about this roommate. This was my second year, right? And I was staying off campus, but like a walking distance from campus, but like off campus. And I, I think it was like beginning of the year. This was like January, because as nursing students, you come early from holiday, and then you go back to work. You have a pre-placement, then the year begins. So already when the other students come and start the year, we literally have been there for like a month or like a few weeks because we first go to placement like a two-week placement and then after that it would be like normal classes so I had obviously come early and I was staying with someone but that person had not arrived because I was first to arrive then you know how it goes when you're the first one you choose the side that you like the most and then the other person just takes the other side so that was basically what happened so I chose the side that I preferred and then when she came along she obviously had to take the other side she couldn't choose because I'm small and then I was worried the first few days when I met her because she was not from South Africa she was was she Zimbabwean was she from Zim I can't recall but she was not South African so different backgrounds um she spoke okay like her english was fine like we could communicate we could understand each other and she was very chilled man she was doing her first year when i was doing my second year so she really didn't know a lot of things like in cape town and know a lot of people so that was okay so other people in their rooms like my friend for example she also had a roommate they they divided the room like it was like a room and then they took the cupboards and would turn it whichever side and then they divide the room like that so you can't see the other person that other person can't see you i did not do that i didn't see the need i was like at that point i didn't see the need i was like oh, you know what i don't have to go through all that having to move um cupboards and you know i was I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to be the best roommate. We're going to communicate. We're going to do things together. Like, I'm going to accommodate her. We're just going to have, like, a good year. Little did I know. But anyway, <laughs> let's not jump into things. So, we, we really had a good time. It was not, like, a good time. But when we'd greet each other, like, in the morning, like, good morning, hi, hi. Um, she comes from, from school or I come from work, she'd ask, how are you doing? And we didn't cook together because you are Asana. Every day she ate pap and I am not that type of girl. I don't really like cooking, but I like eating different things. So I'd cook my pasta, I'd make, have bread, rice and all that. Yeah, now she just ate pap on a daily basis and psh, no ways. And I'm now I'm this person, I buy unnecessarily like i always even now i buy a lot of groceries which end up being thrown away because they would expire or get rotten or whatever the case may be 
so that has always just been a me thing i never want to not have something i'll rather have excess than not have any so i would have a lot and even my parents would bring like certain things then i would obviously share with her like if i have like maybe a packet of like potatoes or, or tomatoes or onions or whatever then i give like half to her then i take the rest from me because i know it's going to get bad because i'm not really going to use like a 10 kilogram of what uh, um, potatoes you know so i was just that person she didn't have a fridge i remember and she would use my fridge and my fridge was like it was small it was those kic fridges it wasn't the bar fridge i did i did not want the bar fridge i literally saved for the the fridge that i had because the bar fridge was going to be way too small for me i i did not want that so it was the normal kfc but still it was tiny but it would fit in some of her things like if she wanted to sorry to use a deep freezer she would like put maybe like a tray of chicken or sausage or whatever you know and then i'd use the rest so it went on like that like everything seemed fine and then she had friends that's where things started going weird i also had a friend but my friend was in her dating stages so she would be with her girlfriend or whatever and i'd just be like a loner that i am i've literally always been a loner like i have friends as in like i can count my friends like in one hand but i'm just always alone if i want to see them it's not easy because we are working you know <laughs> so i'm just always alone or with my boyfriend so she had new friends now her friends were from i think the, like the same place because they didn't speak Kosa. no they didn't speak Kosa. so things went south when she got friends there was this one friend in particular who did not like greeting I, I i i don't know like i've said this countless times i don't like or i don't understand people that do not greet and it's not like i'm not gonna gain anything from you greeting me but it shows respect and even at work like you'll get patients that just walk in and not greet and then they'll have the audacity to be asking you questions but they didn't greet you no i don't like that so if a, like for instance if a patient comes up to me and like just walks like walks in and i'm literally standing there they won't say anything and then they ask me things i'll be like good morning how are you doing um and then say whatever to show you that you need to greet people I, I don't know i've just always been raised that way and some nurses were like no some people don't like reading and it's in their nature i'm like that's a weird nature <laughs> but anyway we're not gonna dwell on that so her friend in particular didn't like reading she would just come in and talk to her friend and then leave but when if they together and i'm coming from class or work like i will greet them i've just been raised like that so it started from not greeting me to them speaking in their language but you know when some when people are speaking about you you don't have to know exactly what they're saying but you just know like you just feel it like you know and it's not like i was bendis tringela or whatever okay so it started from her not greeting me and then it escalated so i remember this one time I don't know what I was doing exactly and then the friend just came in the room without knocking and I think they were probably studying somewhere and then she just came to fetch something or whatever and she just came in without knocking nothing and I was like maybe she forgot you know maybe she's rushing somewhere and then she just forgot you know like I just tried to to understand what was happening because my mind couldn't really understand why someone would go in 
inside someone's room without knocking but i was like okay let's let it slide then it happened a couple of times then i was like i don't know if i'm just being disrespected at this point okanye what is happening but like you know that your friend doesn't stay here alone so how are you just barging in without knocking make it make sense like i didn't understand so then this one time i was really in a bad mood so she just came in and then i was like sorry where do you think this is and she's like eh i'm like why do you come in here without knocking you know that your your friend doesn't stay here alone what if i was naked or i don't even have to be naked it's not her room alone so please respect me and then she walked out and banged the door and her friend was in like her friend was inside and i was like you know what i've had it i tried to make excuses but she's doing it on purpose and i was not having it and then after that jay even the roommate now started acting weird so as um nursing students we we go to work right on specific days of the week like we 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 have classes and then we also work so when i'm going to work obviously i'm going to switch on the light because i need to iron my clothes i need to get up go shower i need the light so i could see that when i switch on the light obviously she knows i'm a nursing student i switch on the light this is like maybe 4 or 5 in the morning and then she like look at me I'm like i'm like <laughs> i understand you're sleeping but there's nothing i can do i have to go to work i have to prep for work i have to shower i have to see what i'm doing imagine getting dressed in the dark and it's not going to work and she knows she never had a problem before but now all of a sudden because i said what i said to a friend now she's acting all funny i'm like as long as she's not saying anything to me i'm not saying anything because she knows then this one time i had a friend come over and this guy he where does he live but he lives closer to the border so he does understand like certain languages like african languages so we're just sitting together while we're listening to music we're listening to music and the friend and my roommate were were sitting there and i'm just minding my business and oh guy was like hey you won't believe what they're saying like my friend he's like you won't believe what they're saying I'm like what what are they saying cuz I'm like on here in thing. He's like they're talking about us. The one girl was like you are asana lona she's bringing boys in your room and we're not going to leave because who knows what they're going to do when we leave. I'm like <laughs> hey I said like when he told me I just laughed like I literally just laughed I was like hey I said nang if that's the case i literally said that i need to know if that's the case because what the hell i can't have people but you when you always have people but i can't have people are you sick in your head that happened and then she yabona yabona that friend ne yanga to umuntu wethunyelwe ku her friend ingathi wesi sikhunyelwa uthunyelwe ku specifically because now that everything has transpired i spoke to her the way i spoke to her for for good reasons they started coming in the morning and i think it was i think they were writing at this time i think this was like around like exam time cuz her friends she also had guy friends would come over in the morning like when i mean morning like 12 1 2 they'd come and knock and then they'd pack their things and go study in the in the study room and i'll be sleeping because 
my timetable, like the nursing timetable is so different from other faculties. We like go to work sometimes, they'll be writing and we'll be working and you know. So they'd come in the morning. I don't mind them coming, taking whatever they have to take and then leave. But then this friend would make a noise and I'm trying to sleep because I'm, I'm going to be waking up at four. It's two o'clock, 12 o'clock, like around that time. And I'm trying my best to sleep so that I can wake up fresh. This girl would just randomly talk, Jay. They're laughing and everything. And then I'm like, yo, 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 yo. I do, yeah, I do not have time for this drama. Now I just want to sleep because I'm waking up soon. So that, that happened during like the exam time. Yeah, the noise and everything. And at this point, I wasn't even speaking to my, like I would go for two weeks without speaking to my roommate because Galogo, I'm being disrespected. Yeah, well, and for me, if I don't like something, I'll just ignore you. Like I won't speak to you because I, I just, I don't like speaking about certain things, man. Like there's certain things you don't even have to speak about. Especially when someone is disrespecting you, you know when you're disrespecting someone, you know when you're doing something wrong that someone doesn't like. So why are we going to speak about that? Like just change your ways and you know. So I just started to ignore her, I didn't greet her, I just do my thing, she do her thing. It was basically like that, yeah, well, because I was just, ugh, I was just tired. I also don't like speaking to adults because in university and adult, I don't have to speak to you about manners and how to behave and all of that. Mm -mm. If you're gonna do whatever you feel like doing, I'm just gonna do my thing. Not gonna care. Yeah, well, no, I do care because it affects me. But like, I'm not gonna bother talking about it. And then that kept happening. Then this one night, they were sitting on the bed with a friend. Then they decided to listen to music. Early in the morning, they're listening to music. Okay, sharp. Then they started talking and screaming. Oh! I was, <laughs> I was like, no. I was in disbelief. In the early hours of the morning, you guys are listening to music and laughing. While I'm trying to sleep. So I just, I was really angry. But I just kept quiet. And then, again, with the volume, Jay. It increased like them speaking and laughing they were just laughing hysterically I'm like hi hi there's no way so I said you guys are making a noise can you please lower your volume and then the friend was like you guys are making a noise can you please lower the volume like mimicking me <laughs> hi Bo. I was like what is this like what are we doing so i just turned the other way because i was facing them and then i just turned and then i was like hey i don't know what this is but like ain't no way then eventually she left i went to work that day i was so tired my eyes were so red that I had a miserable day because I was just sleepy. And bear in mind that we work a 12 hour shift from seven to seven. So I had to be awake the whole time and I barely slept because of what was happening. So I was like, okay, sharp. I'm gonna get this girl. I'm not gonna deal with the friend. I'm gonna deal with her because I stay with her. She must correct her friends. I'm not gonna correct her friends. I'm gonna correct her. I was like, I'm gonna show her. Then, one thing about me, when, when I give revenge, I'm not going to give it when you expect it. No. When you least expect it, that's when I hit. So I was like, okay, let me let it slide. Keep quiet for like, I think a few weeks, if not even a month or two. I let it slide. I was like, I'm going to get this one. Then, she was studying. They were, were going to write a test. On that day and I was off you know what I did 
I took my speak. I literally bought a speaker. I didn't have a speaker. I bought a speaker. I put it in the middle, like in on my table. And my table is like in between us. Like my bed is here, her bed was here, and then it was my table. Yeah, well, so it was like in between. I put the speaker close to her side, put it on loud, and I played music on YouTube, knowing Uti, it's gonna play for hours. It's gonna play for hours. Put it on full blast. Even even it was making a noise for me, but I didn't care because I wanted to get her. I was like, Uzo bala So um she I I played the music, right? She went to the study area and then she came back. Guess what? My music was still on. My music was still on and I slept with the music. It was so hard to sleep. But I knew why I was doing it. So I was punishing her. When she woke up, her eyes were red. Her eyes were red because she couldn't sleep. She could not sleep. I was like, yes, that's what you get when you're being an also. I'm going to give you exactly what you want me to give you. And I gave her that. Then, like, I think after that day, then she started greeting me when she comes from from class she would greet me like oh we're speaking now oh okay then she'd like greet me then i'd also greet her when i come back from wherever i have gone to then the friend you that friend jay yeah, yeah yeah that child was toxic i remember i was going to do a a video for youtube and i had makeup on did this girl not come inside and start laughing? Like the whole time I'm putting on makeup, this girl is literally looking at me like... But I think more than anything, she's just admiring the whole process of makeup. It's it's beautiful. I mean, when you get to see this, because even then I wasn't bad at doing makeup. So she wouldn't be laughing at how bad my face would look. No, she'd just be laughing because she was jealous. Because this is what you get okay so it was just a mess and i remember it even came to a point where i just took out the things out of my fridge and then i put it there i'm like your food can rot you can put it by your friend or whatever i just don't care because you literally are disrespecting me so i can't now be nice i've been nice for way too long and i i can't be nice like take your things and i never shared her like i never shared my things with her again because i was just like mm, it can rather rot than me giving it to you because mm -mm, there's no way like i would never let a friend disrespect someone else and make them uncomfortable in a place they're sleeping i would never let a friend do that my friends i would never let them do that to someone and for her to do that it was very low i was like I don't know if maybe it's the way she was raised because we we have different backgrounds but like sometimes it's not even like how you're raised it's your choice to act certain way because now if i wanted to be bitchy throughout i would have been bitchy now i just whatever she did i'd be like okay yeah well this i can't let go i'll pay it back they then, mm, nah, I think she, I will strategize how I'm gonna get you. So I'll do that and be like, okay, today she's doing A, B, and C, let me do something. So that was basically how I dealt with the whole situation because I had it, like I was done being the nice roommate and then she'd do that with the friends. Yo, you see that night when they made a noise and they were laughing and singing and i was i was so hurt because i was going to work i woke up so tired and i had a 12 hour shift i was mad i was mad i was angry i was like yo i couldn't believe it shame and what made everything worse is the fact that i never really had like a friend friend like my best friend stayed at the same place but like had other friends now since we were in university so she didn't really spend a lot of time with me so there wasn't really someone that i could talk to like vent and see uti like try to get like suggestions on how i could like 
approach the whole situation because it was a very bad place that was in but i was like imagine being a second year and then being just disrespected by first year i was like i'm gonna show her she can do whatever she feels like doing but i'm gonna pay it back hard and that's exactly what i did so i'm so glad now that <laughs> i have a place of my own because even last year i was staying um at a what is this is it a communal house it was basically house sharing like i was sharing the house with other people you know it wasn't the best because people are just different our hygiene and all that is is not the same like you can like cooking cleaning and whatever and then the next person just doesn't bother and then you end up being like a maid because you're cleaning up the people and they just don't give a damn so i'm just glad that i'm able to to work and pay my rent and stay alone and yeah so it's the little things that we must be grateful for i mean this is definitely not little but like yeah sometimes it hits you when you think about all these things and be like damn i actually went through that and at that time you you think Guti, hey, this is never gonna end and when you look back you're like wow to actually think that i never thought that whole that year where i was just having those experiences would end and fast forward to like six years later you have like your own place and you can just do whatever you feel like doing whenever you feel you feel like doing it that's amazing yeah uh, guys that's the story <laughs> that's literally the story so yeah guys at university you're faced with a lot of things it's academics as nursing students it's also work it's roommates it's friends it's tricky <laughs> life in university is tricky it's tricky it teaches you a lot of things about life in general and i'm grateful for some of the experiences but some things they should not have happened honestly speaking to just it's, it was just unnecessary but yeah guys hope you enjoyed that short story time um don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends to tell the friends to watch my youtube and do watch those ads guys because you're gonna need some money so many so many so many bye